Hi everyone, welcome to another how-to video by agritourismideas.com. Today I wanted to show you how easy it is to create your own website using a tool called Wix. Uh, now in our blog post this week we talked about web design and how the best idea is to hire a professional to create and design and maintain your website. Uh, some of us who may just be starting out or don't have the resources to be able to uh, to pay a professional uh, have to resort to other uh, less desirable options, but I think Wix is a great alternative for those who, who are on a tight budget. And I just want to give you a quick demonstration of how easy it is to use. So you'll see on my screen here that we're already on the Wix site. Uh, you basically start by going and finding a template, the, a look and feel that you like. So you can click through any of these templates and view them and explore how they're laid out, what they look like, where they put their pictures, that sort of thing. And basically you find one that you like, uh, knowing that all the graphics can be changed to your own graphics and all the text to your own text, and you start editing. So we're not going to use that one that we were just showing. There's some categories down here on the left side. And of course there's not one called agritourism, <laughs> but the closest one I could find as far as the category is concerned would be under events and probably parties and festivals. So. We're just going to pick one of these, and again, you're going to have to find the look and feel that you like for your site. Uh, but the purpose of this demonstration is just to show you how easy it really is to do. So we're going to use this uh, moonlight glamping business, and I'm going to show you uh, just real quickly uh, how quickly or how easy it is uh, to create your own great-looking website. So here we are. We are in the editor. You'll see that we have all kinds of buttons here. Don't get intimidated. Once I get going here, you'll see how easy it really is. Uh, so let's start with the obvious. Well, uh, unless you guys are a deer farm and are already doing glamping, <laughs> this picture is not appropriate for, for your business. So we'll start by changing this slideshow pictures that are, are here. So I'm simply just going to click somewhere in the picture where there's not any text. And it's going to open up and say, all right, here's your gallery images. Uh, do you want to use these or something else? Well, we want to use our own images. So I'm going to click on Add Images. And uh, we, can, we can upload images from our computer or social networks or buy them from like an iStock type place. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, I've already uploaded some photos. So since this is the slideshow on our main page, I, I'm going to want to pick the things that are appealing to the most people, so maybe a picture of our apple orchard and a picture of our wedding venue and maybe a picture of, uh, let's see, what else should we do? I don't know where our pumpkin picture went, it's not on here yet. And we'll do uh, the corn maze. So we're going to add to gallery. And these other three are still showing up here, so we want to get rid of those. We just want to click the little trash can, remove remove, remove. That leaves us with our three images and we can add as many as we want. And once we're done, uh, it'll populate our images in there. Now, it's not showing you the, the, uh, the slideshow. Anytime you want to see uh, what your website looks like, you just click on this preview button in the top right hand corner and it'll take you to a preview window where you can see the changes that you've just made. So there we are. We've just changed the background images to what we want. Um, all right, so next, of course, our name of our company isn't Moonlight Glamping, so we're going to want to edit that. And so I'm going to edit that into uh, Family Farm Fun, just to show you how easy it is to edit text. Uh, any text on any of these, you simply just click and edit. You can make the font size larger. You can change the font style, although I recommend that you you instead use these themes up here because it will keep your website look and feel uh, pretty standardized and smooth. Um, and let's say we don't want these, uh, not even sure what those are, if they're branches, we want to change the clip art. And it doesn't have to be clip art. We can instead go to My Images and do a logo and simply click on Change Clip Art and now our logo is there. Uh, so as you can see, it's very easy to change things in Wix. Now this background image, maybe we want a background image that um, is something different. So you see I, I clicked over here on this picture on the left-hand side, 
and um, if I single click it comes up with this menu if I double click it just automatically opens it because it knows I want to do something with it I can pick a background it could be random uh, or I could change the image so we're just going to change the image to, to one of our corn mazes uh, you can you can change it to whatever you want basically and it's as simple as that um, also uh, there's an apply to other pages so I can say I want this on all pages and it's simply the click of a button now you'll see here uh oh there's this way for people to book night stays at our event maybe you don't have any place for them to stay so you need to get rid of that simply click so it's highlighted hit delete on your keyboard and it's gone well now you have this white space what are you going to do with the white space well you can just simply click and drag the section below it up to, me to meet it and now you've gotten rid of that gap and again more text here I can double click it and delete it all or click in there and just make changes wherever I deem appropriate uh, same thing with any headings any clip clip art I can simply change it out or delete it or add my own um, very very simple to use uh, choose clip art now we have a different image there uh, so as you can see everything about Wix is is very simple and easy to use um, well you may be saying okay that's 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 the home page that seems pretty easy what about all these other stuff up here uh, activities that's a good one for me to have but I want it to be listed right after home how do I get it over there well here is your drop down menu for all your pages uh, so you'll see everything that's up here on this navigation bar listed here as their own pages now if I wanted activities to be right after home on the navigation bar I simply click and hold and drag to wherever I want it let go and now if I look back here it goes home and then activities and if I wanted to uh, get rid of cabins and tents altogether I simply click this little three dot button over here and say delete and it's gone once it asks me if I'm really sure I want to do that if I want to add a new page it's as simple as going to this pages tab saying add page and I can add a new page I can uh, do a menu header I can do a link uh, but we want to we want to add a new page and a lot of times instead of doing add page it's easier to say okay I want it to be very similar to the activities page so I'm going to click this three-way button over here and I'm going to say duplicate and instead of activities I'm going to call this groups and keep it capitalized so that it looks the same up there so now you see I've got home activities and groups um, very very simple to work with uh, again I want to change these images out I just or I can hit delete if I don't want images at all or I can change the images I can uh, get rid of all these by hitting the delete button down here and or the trash can excuse me and I can add images let's just grab the first bunch so I clicked on the first one went to the last one held down shift and click that add to gallery there they all are I click done and there we go we have our own images in there <clears throat> so as you can see Wix is a very simple format to use here again we have a book now button we don't want we just highlight it hit delete um, some other cool things if we were to go to the contact us page there's already built-in things like email forms if you want to have people email you well how do I know it's going to get to me I simply click set your email so in here I say I want this to go to this email address and this email address what info do you need you need name and email or do you also want the phone number or do you want the address do you want the subject so there's all these other different fields that you can you can add to these simple forms it makes it very simple and easy to use <clears throat> your directions again click change address and change it to your address um, so we're gonna just highlight it all and we'll do my office address here can't type today. 
and say find. So there it finds me on the map and I have all these options. Do you want to be able to do map and satellite, zoom, navigate, stretch, all that good stuff. My opinion it's good to leave all those selected. So now if I go to preview uh, I can move the map around, I can zoom in, I can change to satellite. Uh, and if for those of you who are out in the boondocks where a real address doesn't work, back in there where you did uh, put in your address you can also put in GPS coordinates. Um, yeah, let's see if there's anything else. Uh, basically, anytime I want, I hit save, and this is the this is the first time you save. You can name your site, so you can do family farm. But most likely, this won't stay on Wix's domain. Now they will let you host it for free if, as long as you want, but it's going to say something like. Uh, www.wix.com forward slash family fun farm. Uh, you most likely want that to go to your own domain and of course there's a way to make that happen but if you don't care about people going to Wix you can simply publish it <clears throat> on Wix for free and it will have some of their advertisements at the top and bottom uh, if you keep it in their free service. Uh, but don't recommend that. Recommend you pay the, the 10 bucks a month or whatever it is connect your own domain to it so it can go right to www.familyfunfarm.com um, and let's see I think that's the basics again anything you want to edit or change it's just simply click and it gives you a menu and you can oh we don't take American Express or PayPal let's get rid of it done now they're gone I can center that wherever I want it and that's the beauty of, of these <clears throat> snap grid lines that come up it helps you line things up properly on your grid <clears throat> and there's all kinds of other add-ins and tie-ins that we could talk about later if you have a uh, uh, MailChimp account for uh, managing your mailing lists or um, lead pages account all that it has all kinds of add-ins with other technology type things stripe that sort of thing for for billing uh, and yes, they, they do have shopping carts for those of you who do want to do online sales. <clears throat> Wix has that ability. Um, they have a huge app market where you can uh, you can do all kinds of stuff. Like there's some social apps that you can put on here that you post to Facebook, it automatically updates a Facebook feed on your website, so you don't have to get onto your website to to post new and exciting information. You just have to post it to Facebook and it'll show up there as well. All kinds of great apps you can add in. Um, blogs, there's an easy way to start a blog through Wix. If you ever want to add anything, there's a simple add button. Hey, I want a new text box, I want an image, I want a gallery, I need a new button, I need a box, so on and so forth. Uh, social buttons, social links, you name it. Uh, real easy just to click and add, just to show you. Okay, here, let's, let's add a box. Uh, let's have it look like this. So there it is, not oh, too big, just drag a corner, make it smaller. Uh, I don't like that color, I can uh, change the design and uh, customize the design to whatever color or opacity or whatever I happen to want that box to be. Um, and I can add text by saying add text. I'll do small heading, now I just drag that right into the box and there I go, I have a box with text in it. So as you see Wix is a very very good tool for those who are looking to do their own web design. We won't uh, belabor the point. Uh, best thing for you to do is just to get on and try it. Wix has a bunch of uh, great tutorials uh, for, for anything you can't figure out. Uh, as well as I'm very familiar with it so if you ever have any questions just re reach out to me I'm happy to help. Also I recommend that you check out our blog post from this week uh, which is the last week of March 2016 about uh, the nine key elements you need to be concerned with when designing your website. Uh, the first one we talk about is a responsive website. Nowadays people are doing more browsing from smartphones and tablets than they are actual computers so you need to make sure that uh, it's optimized for that. You'll see in Wix that there's an editor view so if we wanted to, let's go back to our home page if we want to see what this is going to look like on a smartphone, we switch to the uh, mobile view so that we can see what it looks like. And you can do just as much editing as in here, rearranging stuff if you don't like how it's laid out. 
but this uh, Wix automatically comes in with uh, comes with uh, mobile optimization, which is hugely important in today's day and age. So, but also check out the uh, the blog post for the other th eight things we recommend. Uh, you'll find that at www.agritourismideas.com under the blog page. All right, uh, that should wrap it up for today. And again. Uh, this is just a resource we recommend. You'll also find this under our business resources section. We're going to be adding some other things uh, from the technology standpoint in the days and weeks ahead. I uh, hope you found this beneficial. And, again, if you have any questions, if you do decide to try out Wix and run into any roadblocks, shoot me an email at jamie at agritourismideas.com. See you next time. Mm -hmm.